there's a dark history of what happened to us as Indigenous people in the residential school system. And that dark history cannot be denied. Medego Zabe and Anishinaabe, also known as Pine Creek First Nation, is beginning an archaeological excavation of 14 possible unmarked graves under a Catholic church in the community near a former residential school. More than a dozen First Nation communities across Canada have conducted ground searches since the discovery of 215 unmarked graves in Kamloops in 2021. But Chief Derek Nipanak of Pine Creek believes his community is one of the first across the country to begin excavating. It's very important for us uh, as a community because the, uh, the stories of our elders um, are vindicated by, you know, identifying the truth of what happened in our community. The First Nation northwest of Winnipeg is working with archaeologists and scientists from Brandon University to conduct the search, a process that is expected to take a month. Chief Derek Nipanak says since last year, they have found 71 anomalies in the community through ground-penetrating radar, but Nipanak says this excavation is focusing on the 14 anomalies underneath the church. It became the, uh, the mandate of us as leaders from the community and the elders and the residential school survivors to undertake a process to identify what those reflections might be, uh, including the possibility that those reflections might be human remains from, uh, from, from days gone by. The Pine Creek School was run by the Catholic Church from 1890 to 1969. The National Center for Truth and Reconciliation has a record identifying 21 deaths at the school during that time. It's been a long time since uh, the residential schools and our people that went missing and were lost within that process. And it's time to bring them home. It's time to bring home their spirits. An estimated 150,000 Indigenous children were forced to attend residential schools over a century in Canada. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission estimated in its report that about 6,000 Indigenous children died while at these federally funded schools. Nipanak hopes regardless of the outcome, the search brings some healing to the community. We are prepared for either scenario. We're, we're prepared as a community if there are uh, human remains buried at the, uh, at the reflections under the church. But we're also prepared if there isn't any. It's always the healing of, a, of our nations that uh, once they do the work, that healing will start. In Winnipeg, Alex Carbacity City News.